Hello, Nissan Skyline fans of the Ken Mary and Cartoon variety. So we have a Churro Q of a silver Ken Mary with some Watanabe looking wheels here. And that same thing is going on in these photos. So, all right, let's see what we have. I bought it loose. There's no packaging. So yeah, you got the Watanabe style Churros here. And so the metallic silver looks pretty nice. This little badge area though, there's no printing. Uh, the windows are stark smoked plastic. Uh, the grill is actually like a gunmetal with silver in the middle. And GTR is actually legible in the grill. And this egg crate grill. Orange for the turn signals. License plate recess. This is a, a recess with some black paint it looks like. And this has a gimmick of an opening hood. The hood here. Uh, let's get... <laughs> it's funny. It's just a flat sticker. <laughs> Like, don't even bother, and whatever, I guess this is for children. Some venting here. Uh, the fender flares are nicely painted, although this is a used toy, so some of the black has been rubbed off. Uh, the molded in bumper. There's uh, some red paint for the taillights, something that comes from this collection I've never heard of, but... Uh, the wing is molded in, standard construction of a screw and a tab in the back, and it tells you what it is, so KPGC 110. I know it's the Ken Mary. So I guess this collection came out in 2008. And uh, it's a pullback toy, motor still works. You could put a coin here to make it do a wheelie. The stance is actually pretty good. I'm not even going to take it out and use poster putty. It's just, uh, unfortunately, the black paint there. Oh well. Not so bad here, though. I do have a few other Ken Marys to show off, though. Yeah, turns out I only have one other Ken Mary in Choro Q form, but it's a really cool one. It's got that concept livery, the 73 blue metallic and gold livery. So it's the same casting, it looks like. It literally also has that opening hood. Probably the same sticker, too. Yeah, maybe that's a little different. I'm not, I can't even remember. This one has wiper blades printed on it, though. This is from something called the 70 Sports Car Set, which came out in 2003. Hmm. I think that's the same year, right? No, this is 08. Never mind. Can't even remember. A few minutes ago. Oh, nice taillights on this one. It's got the center orange. All right, so that's definitely better, for sure. Uh, let's see. I have a Hakusuka. Two of them I'll show off. This is a racing one with headlight covers and, like, a hose in the front. Wiper blades again. This is from... Some sort of, I don't know, I can't read that, but Skyline GTR Racing number 22. And I have 3D printed wheels on here, and sadly the brake calipers spin with the wheels. Alright, I have a Hakusuka wagon, or a van, I guess the Japanese would call it, with some 3D printed wheels. And this is from Real Gimmick, that line of, uh, oh, I think the gimmick of the trunk will actually open. Yeah, and uh, there's a sticker for motor oil in that. I have some yeah, poster putty holding those wheels in. Uh, the last one is from Choro Q Zero. This is a 2000 GT Turbo. The wheels are specific to this car. Painted headlights and taillights, and it's number 36 in the Zero lineup. Okay, so... There we have a variety of GTRs. Well, Skylines. Maybe they're not all GTRs. This has Hot Wheels wheels on it. Alright. This is like a little ghost from... I think it's Princess Mononoke. One of the Studio Ghibli films. Well, this is a nicely detailed Choroku. There's a lot of different paint colors going on. There's... Sadly, it's just been used a little bit, but not too much. Hasn't been abused. All right, well, I'll see you guys in the next Skyline Choro Q video. Take care now.